set. Maybe next time he'll try a different character. Like mm -hmm. he has he has options. And like K9 was playing well. You saw he was adapting yeah. to so many things. But Nitro just had so much momentum. Whenever he got a hit, he just knew how to take it. Take it a like yeah, take an inch, take it a mile. Right. So. so this is grand finals now. Razo in the winner's side. Oh, okay, no, no Joker. I want to see Joker. I'd love to see Joker. Daisy. Yeah. yeah, Nitro making the loser's run. Lost him in winner's semis. Now he's running it back, saying nothing's getting get in my way. I want this run back. So yeah, in winner's finals, it was a 3-1. And uh, I think the last two games were convincing two stocks for Razo. So let's see. <laughs> they, were, they were three stocks, actually, if I recall. Oh, no, that was against Shina. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, they, they, yeah. But either Shina way. was the one getting three stock. Might uh, be. Get him. <laughs> but so let's see what kind of a... Uh, yeah, adaptation Nitro has. He does have the momentum of uh, playing a lot of really good sets. Yeah, for sure. And to be fair, the last time he lost even a game was in a loser's quarters. Meanwhile, Raza's just been kind of sitting waiting here. Nice follow up with the up smash. Oh, air dodging right into Nitro there. Oh, yo. So much damage. Well, cancels right into the holy water. There's a back throw from Razo. He pulls a turn up. Oh my Fantastic god, that snipe. Bro, and he jumped back into that. That was a fadeaway, dude. Three pointer. Yeah, that was definitely the three pointer. <laughs> Raza, I, haven't played, I haven't played you in two hours, but I still got those. <laughs> that was nuts. All right, Razo well, with the conversion damage, right here. Oh, You're not done. Snap. I'm not leaving you oh, alone. Oh, he's gone. He get this sketch guard. All right. I mean, still a quick six. He yeah. just went spinning at him. Yeesh. Oh, Nitro going for the F smash. I bro. like that. He challenged it with the forward air. Razo successfully winning out in that interaction. Another down tilt coming in. Axe going off. But right now, Raza, or Nitro is throwing it all at him. So right now, Razo still has a pretty commanding lead. Almost about to take Nitro's second stock. But now we have Nitro uh, ledge guarding you on the... And as I said, you know, takes a stock. Yeah, this seems like such a like hard matchup for Richter, honestly. So you do gotta give like kudos where they're due to Nitro for playing it as well as he does as he does. Um, like Peach, on one hand, like can gimp Richter at a moment's notice with the uh, she wants. with the turnips, yeah. And then like on the reverse side of it, things it's like. You know, Richter can throw all the projectiles he wants off stage towards Peach, but she has a float, so she can literally stall out, yeah. just maneuver around super easily, and just, you know, it's like, I don't care about all that. Yeah, but it does look like that Nitro is just really good at this matchup, yeah. because you just see he employs so many tricks against, like, Peach specifically. Something that you would have to, like, play against her to know. Right. Oh, I like the parry on the back air, and the parry on the forward air. Yeah, we actually have a dead even game right here. Yeah, actually. Like I said, he was about to uh, be up three stocks to one, but Nitro brought this back. Nice parry on the cross. That should, no, I don't think that's it actually. Thought he was gonna maybe do like a flow cancel there. Goes for the snipe again. Covering both errors with the turn up just a little too early. Oh my God, just barely able to put his shield up. Here comes the ax, here comes another one. Throw out my cross, holy water, set up that wall, and he forces there. him in the shield, gets him with a forward throw. Yo. Honestly, right. like, the Belmonts are the last characters you'd expect to have a kill throw. Short-lived victory. Razo able to come off the angel platform, use that invincibility, and get aggressive. Take that stock with the back air. Ooh. He is trailing in percent right now by a substantial amount, 57 to nothing. So far. Right now, Razo does, in fact, just need like that one conversion, like we are saying, get that down tilt, get that flow cancel in there, and then, you know, a lot of damage is going to come up. And he's kind of fishing for it right now. He's trying to open it up, but Nitro's playing, doing so well, just avoiding what Razo wants to hit him with, and then just throwing out these, these hitboxes in the area that Peach wants to be in, or Daisy. Oh my gosh, that almost killed him at 80%, but right now, one read, and it could be it. Both past him, though. Oh, like you were saying earlier, that that uh, that flow past all the projectiles, yeah. so clean. That's super useful because I mean, a lot of characters like we saw in the last matchup. Ouch! Charge it up and the frying, frying pan. pan. That one sends directly up. up so yeah, yeah. Really fry them up. Let me put you in the. And and important to note, especially if you don't play Peach or Daisy, you might not know. In this game, they changed the forward smash to where you angle it 
to get the uh, the one that you want. So if you want, I forget which one's which, but like if yeah, there's a forward angle yeah. is the golf club, okay. down angle is the tennis racket, up go. angle is the frying pan. There you go. Yeah, and then back in Smash Four, it used to be in a in an order. Set order, yeah. I don't remember it. I think it was like, I I think it was the way I just said it, it was like those three, but now it's angled, which you makes can, a lot of sense. You can pick whichever one you want. Yeah, yeah. What what do you need? Cool. <laughs> and yeah, that does make sense, and I think that is really cool. And we're going to Mementos again, seeing like a really favorite counter pick for Nitro. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, we did see the setups that he had earlier uh, on the platform. You'd be able to use the Holy Water to kind of just eliminate that recovery option um, and create even more of a wall, especially like if he puts the Holy Water on any of these side platforms and holds down the center. And it's like, well, if you jump onto the stop one, I'm going to hit you. Mm -hmm. if, you. if you approach anywhere on the ground, I'm going to hit you. Like, Full fight. Oh, oh, rolls right past nice. the holy water. A little too slow for Nitro. Uh, yeah, for Nitro. All right, Peach Bomber successfully gets in, throwing another one to close in the distance. Turn up. Gets the re grab. Oh, Ooh, hits him turn again. Turn up so much damage in this game. Oh, I like the spot dodge just in case uh, Nitro did anything. And he actually did. He goes for the down tilt, but not going to hit just yet. Right now, Richter is sliding with these tilts. This is so funny. Director is just, he's going back and forth. He's moving along the platform. And Pokemon's like, that is it. He didn't. He yeah. got him out of his jump. All right, Razo pulling uh, quick three turnips, trying to see if his RNG will favor him this time. Doesn't get anything out of it, though. Putting 13% on Razo. He's got to be careful. Gets grabbed here. Up throw. Yeah, the up air. Yep. <coughs> Float out of there. I don't want to get hit. Okay, quick flow, cancel back air again. All right, quick DP. Get him off me. Oh, I like how he did, did, he oh, did the downer to, to contest Nitro going above him. Oh, dang. Down tilt to forward air. What a conversion. Yeah, caught him catching, jumping. Yeah, catching Nitro jumping off the ledge. Oh, we're not done, though. Oh, oh my God. God, and the float back just to see how Nitro reacted after that point. He knew he didn't have anything guaranteed. Finally loses the stock there, but is it too little too late, man? That's the question we've been asking oh, time and time again. Yeah, Nitro is that uh, that player who is able to get his momentum and start bringing things back. But Razo, he's just so impressive at just locking someone down and make sure they can't, they can't even play. Oh, ba barely the tip rate of that down tilt hitting, able to confirm into the second part. Oh, I love that spot dodge just to get over the uh, the holy water. Bruh. That was a bruh moment. Who tries to snipe him? Oh, barely getting past the, the, the feet. Oh, forward air. He cannot take one more of those, and he cannot take another vegetable. He, he even tried to throw out the nair to, like, contest it, and just, I don't care. Your chains mean nothing to the vegetables. So Rouse going up quick 2-0. I believe that was a two-stock. Yes, indeed it was. So let's see. Uh, if Raza, or excuse me, if Nitro goes right back to the stage, or will he go to a different stage? Um, I mean, I, I didn't really see much utilization of the platforms, as I had mentioned with the holy water there. Just like the opportunity never really presented itself, and it doesn't seem to work as well against Peach either. Mm -hmm. Again, she has that float, so she can actually stall out the holy water. Like, you know what? I'm gonna float back here in this corner where you, you can't even reach me. So. Uh, uh, we're going to be getting a different stage. We're going to go into FD Green Hill Zone. Okay. I honestly thought he was going to go Sonic. I feel like, is is this not one of the uh, Omegas that you're not allowed to go to? If we're being honest, I've never looked at that list. I I, I don't know. I couldn't even give you a good I answer. I don't know. I don't know if there's... No, this one shouldn't have Z-Axis uh, properties. But I remember hearing in Smash 4 that there's added traction on this stage. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. It I usually, it feels normal to me. So the only complaint I ever heard about this uh, this FD was the fact that Villager could just you know go on there, plant a tree, and it just looked like grass because there was like texture. <laughs> it was actually just like a lame counter uh, counter pick. But regardless, we're here. Real nice day. This is a nice stage, honestly. It's actually I actually hadn't looked at it in this game yet in like detail, and it's it is really beautiful, it is actually. it is pretty. Nice. 
Like, it definitely brings back the nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. And it's like in 3D too, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, we're getting back to the match. Razo already 90%. It looks like Nitro uh, finally figured something out. But as I say that, Razo does get that conversion. Starts opening up a little bit of his own. A little something of his own. Down throw into back air, putting Nitro off stage. And you can see Razo just not letting up the pressure, immediately going out there for the down air. He's got a juggle. He catches oh. him on landing. The caps of the air dodge, but not actually going for a smash tag. Just going for a quick grab. A down throw. Not gonna get anything. I'm not sure if he really had anything at that percent. Maybe just for the DI mix up. Hashtag not gonna work though, but we will work the whip. Back air gonna take that first dog. 105% here on Nitro. Oh, he gets a down tilt. Retreating forward air, really nice. Quick 21%. Yeah, but this is where uh, this is where the Belmont start to get oh, yo, a little overwhelming. Yeah, I mean we saw we saw it even in the game that uh, Nitro won in their winter side set, right? Like you get you lose that first stock against Richter, and it, it just gets it gets hard. Like they're just gonna keep barraging you with projectiles. Nonetheless, Razo making it work, only taking 53% before able to secure that stock. Another 80% neutral gonna be oh, into the dang. holy fire, but they're probably trying to read a roll. Razo has been rolling a lot through that, so he's probably trying to expect that. Man, it does seem like Nitro has a really solid handle on the matchup right now. Ooh, roll again. But uh, Nitro going for a dash attack kind of oh, randomly. Dude. Wait a minute. Oh, he's, yep, he's gone, dude. His that jump. So unfortunate. Had, he had already used his jump on stage, and Razo saw that. Capitalized so hard. Yeah, and the fact that the tether, like, it, it kind of hopped him up above the platform. That was just... He was just a sitting duck at that point. All right, but this is it, man. It could be the end of it all. Razo could take this tournament 3-0. He just needs one stock, and he's already halfway there. 50% onto Nitro right now. Nitro trying to find his way back. He's using the axe. Holy Water at the ledge. Gets a dash attack. Not going to kill, but still decent damage. Getting to a point where, you know, one of the maxes is probably going to kill at the, uh, at the ground level. But F-Tilt, get him tilt. out of my space. This but. is, he can make this comeback, it's possible. Oh, wait no. a minute, oh that, that. no, again, the down the tilt ground. forward air at the ledge. Yeah, popping Super him up. Super good. So good, just because of the fact when uh, when he hits it with a downer, he's like lower because he's hanging on the platform. He's able to just jump up, get a quick fare. Raul's gonna end that 3-0. 3-0, man, and now I get to go home at a reasonable time. What time was it? Only 11.52, Raul? Bro, Before midnight, let's go! Rob